Hello, this is Guillem Anglada. I'm a lecturer in astrophysics at Queen Mary University of London. This week, um, David invited me to talk to you about this amazing discovery we have made. We have found a planet around the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. So, this discovery didn't happen, obviously, from one day to the next. So we've been working on this for the last four years. I personally spent a lot of time with a small group of colleagues that we've been following up this from the very beginning, but it was clear that we needed a larger team. So it took time and effort from a lot of people to put all this together. After all these years of effort, this is how we reached the final result that you have seen today. So why did we do this? From the very beginning, it was kind of obvious that there was a signal there. There was a strong periodic signal that we have seen in several data sets, but we are not really sure. So this is where, after se trying several times with different campaigns, we decided to design one this campaign where we observe this one star and we confirm or refute if this planet is there. So that's the pale red dot campaign. Pale red dot consists basically on using HARPS, which is a Doppler measurement machine, to measure how the star moves during two months. During these two months, the signal will be repeating three or four times, but at the same time, we need to be sure that the star is not changing itself. For example, for activity, there are flares, there is rotation. So at the same time, we needed additional telescopes, which have been the Las Cumbres, Global Observatory and the H2 telescopes, which monitor the star photometrically, so we could be sure that the Doppler signal we see is not related to something happening on the star, and it's therefore coming from a planet. What we did basically is monitor how the star moves. So when, the when there's a planet around the star, there's a periodic motion that tells you what's the period of that planet, and also what's the mass of that planet. So putting everything together, the old campaigns, the new data, the photometric data to rule out things that are coming from the star, we finally concluded that there is an Earth mass planet in a period of 11.2 days around the star. And from that, we know that the planet is at the right distance to actually support liquid water on its surface. If it does or it doesn't, it's another question. That's the next big step, is looking at this planet and try to characterize it. How we want to do that, so the most obvious thing is what David already did with the most satellite, or even we are trying to do it from the ground, which is to search for transits. Transits mean the planet goes in front of the star. And when that happens, you can also measure the size. We know the mass now, but then you would have the size, you know the density, you know if it's made of rock, but then you can also try to do spectroscopy. And when you do spectroscopy, you can look at its atmosphere and figure out if there are molecules like, for example, oxygen, CO2, and who knows what. So if you want to learn a bit more how to go from the measurements to the final conclusion that we have a planet around a star, I encourage you to check our web it's called paleredot.org. We also have Twitter and we also have Facebook pages, but most of the content is there in the web. And in there we have articles from ourselves, from the project updates, showing how the data is acquired, how other scientists in the world work on exoplanets and do research on the stars themselves. So I really encourage you to follow our website. We are very excited about this result. We hope that you are excited too. For us, um, it was not only one more planet, and I hope you will agree with us as well. We are talking about the Earth mass planet around the nearest star. So this project started as a four or five people looking at strange signals in data, in, in data sets, and it ended up being a team of 30 people, plus all the technicians, all the people at ISO that helped us. This has been really an effort also from the outreach part to really communicate, try to show you that we are not making up things when, when we report discoveries. So this is, has been a great experience for all of us. We hope that you are excited too and follow up pushing for research, astronomy and science in general. Thank you very much for following.